Hey everyone, welcome to BNN's This Month in Oklahoma, July edition. I'm Brittany Harlow. So many great things happened in Oklahoma this month, so let's get straight to them. The first Native American in space, Chickasaw astronaut John Harrington spoke in Stillwater. Hundreds of people attended. In fact, the event was so popular it had to be moved from the Stillwater Public Library to the community center to fit everyone. Tulsa Animal Welfare extended its shelter hours. They are now open seven days a week to give more pets a home. And also in Tulsa, the Sobering Shelter celebrated its one-year anniversary. We're told nearly 300 Tulsa police officers brought people detained for public intox there instead of jail, saving officers about 3,000 hours. It wasn't all good news this month in Oklahoma. Fatal wrecks claimed the lives of numerous people across the state, including one in Garvin County on the 20th that claimed the lives of two children from Winniewood. It was the second double fatality that week for the county. And of course, the month was not without crime. Mark Tordokis was arrested in Tulsa after police said he broke into a home and sexually assaulted two children, four and six years old. The Philbrook Museum was forced to put up a new billboard after someone vandalized one with an Islamophobic message. Director Scott Stulen said they could not be more proud to present their show, Wondrous Worlds, Art and Islam, through time and place. They would not be deterred by any form of intolerance in their community. Not long after, the Dennis R. Neal Equality Center Memorial Mural was vandalized. The center is home to Oklahomans for equality. They, too, said they would not be silenced. There was also an end to a lot of crime this month. The Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics tells us 21 people were arrested last week, all tied to a meth ring in southern Oklahoma and north Texas. In unrelated news, a medical marijuana dispensary in Spiro was shut down for also selling meth. And speaking of marijuana, lots of changes coming to the state's marijuana program. You can read about all of them in our plug-in app, available for free for download for both iOS and Android. In fact, you can read about all of these stories and more in our app. Links to download at verifiednews.network. All facts, no opinion or bias. News and weather. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, I'm VNN's Brittany Harlow.